the biggest match of his life. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Coming through, wanting to play the top stars, possibly your heroes and whatever. He, Ronnie might be his hero, you don't know. But as you say, a, a tough order, a tall order, I should say, for that man. But I'm um, sure he'll, he'll be excited with the prospect. Yeah, the world champion, straight in then. Immediately here, looking to get onto the black. Five. Well, you could hear the, the thump there. He's got a massive kick, but he's okay. Twelve. Today's first two matches, if you're just joining us, have 20. been quite lengthy affairs, the two matches we've seen on the TV table. Dechuan Pumjang beating Patrick Einslet from Germany in a marathon, 4-3. First 21. up, the two marks. Mark Davis and Mark Allen also into a deciding frame. So the schedule a little behind. I, I think we might just pick up a little though in the next two matches, Phil. <laughs> That's just what I was going to say. <laughs> this one, of course, and then uh, and Judd Trump to follow. Some great viewing in the next couple of hours here, two or three hours. I know Ronnie will want to get this one out of the way as fast as he can, just to prepare for things ahead. Of course, it's always a bit of an advantage as well Bring with this three, these three-day events. Isn't it much that, that if you play the first day and you come through, you've got that day off before the finals day on Sunday. Seven matches to win the tournament. As always with Ronnie O'Sullivan, lots of enthusiastic fans trying to take photographs. The referee Marcel Eckhart admonishing them in German. Well, that's not too clever, either for Ahmed there, because he's... There he is. And uh, he's left uh, Ronnie just right into the centre pocket. One. Well, he's had one good chance. In this frame, Ronnie. He's got another one now to clinch it. We say that because these guys are that good that when they get into these positions, we expect them to finish the frame from these sort of uh, situations. Six. At the table, around the black spot, three or four reds open. And we're always surprised Seven. when they don't. Again, I think that was a little bit heavy. He's played on the one that he's nearest to, but 14. this one to the corner is okay. Looks 15. in the mood, Phil. Well, when he won the World Championship in May, I thought it was his greatest achievement. Mm. He played one match all season in a very small event. Came to the Crucible and looked as though he'd never been away. And his discipline was absolutely fantastic. I think, to be honest, I think the others fell by the wayside a little bit in that tournament. And, you know, the semi-final between him and Judd, we were thinking, OK, the winner's going to come from this. Oh, that was in the corner. 
he had been playing a few matches. The question that marked over Ronnie going into the World Championship was how match fit he was. You know the abilities are there, but you know sometimes when you're out of the, the scene or off the scene for a little while, everybody goes by you. You see that often in other sports, but he'd been playing a few exhibitions, he'd been playing challenge matches and whatever you, with various people around the country, but it's not like the intense stuff of a out there in the matches, but uh, every credit to him, the way he performed there. We also would said in that, Phil, there was, if anybody could come back and do it, it would be him. And I suppose you've got to put him, 42. well, if not the favourite this weekend, and especially one of the favourites. 43. <laughs> Well, I think it's fair to say he's total contrast in its speed to what we've seen so far here today. Yeah, so I'm sure Ahmed is uh, very, very nervous. You know, he will be edgy, but uh, without doubt. I think he'll be looking to just make a good account of himself though in this match against the most gifted player we've ever seen in our game Sixty-four. well I was just about to say are we going to see another century from Ronnie O'Sullivan the answer to that is no but with a break of 64, he wins the first frame comfortably, decisively, and without Ahmed safe, potting a ball. Frame two coming up in a moment.